the time of year where everybody starts putting together their best of 2011 award shows together. There's top 10 lists out. There's also the Spike TV Video Game Award Show, which, if you're like me, it's kind of an embarrassment to watch that, so I skip over it. Anyways, I decided to put together my own awards list of what games I thought deserved winning an award or a mention this year. First up is the best RPG of 2011, which I'm giving to Skyrim. Because even though Skyrim, if you cut it up into sections and separate all the little different elements, it's not very good. When you put them together, it was kind of a winning combination, even with all the bugs and the issues and everything. I still had a lot of fun with it. I put in, I think, almost 100 hours. I finished all the faction quests. I finished all the story quests. And um, I, I really had a good time. I never got too tired of running around doing missions. Whenever I got tired of doing a lot of fetch quest missions, I did the story missions, and then I would mix in some of the, the random generated missions, and it kind of felt like a good balance. So Skyrim was definitely my RPG pick of 2011. My best shooter of the year, um, I had a hard time. It was a little bit of a tie between Gears of War 3 and Portal 2. I know a lot of people don't really picture or envision Portal as being a shooter, but come on. It is. Just because I'm not shooting bullets doesn't mean it's not a shooter, because I am shooting portals. But it could also be qualified as a puzzle game. But I ended up thinking I'm going to go and give it to Gears of War 3, because Gears of War 3 is was a great third in the Gears of War series, and it was a great closeout for the series as well. You know, some key characters died. I'm going to keep it secret, because I don't want to spoil it too much for the people who don't have it yet. And overall, threes are really hard to pull off and I thought Gears of War did a great job with it. Plus, the addition of Beast Mode in the multiplayer section was a lot of fun, and that's why I give Gears of War 3 Best Shooter this year. My pick for the Best Platformer this year was definitely Super Mario 3D Land. I loved that game, although I did find a lot of the 3D stuff to be a little disorienting. It threw off my depth perception. Overall, I thought the game was great, but then again, when is a Mario platformer not awesome? Nintendo really knows how to nail those platformers, and Super Mario 3D Land was definitely not an exception to that rule. Next up is the best action adventure for this year, and I'm sure you guys already know what I picked, but I picked Uncharted 3. Of course I did. Uncharted 3, in my opinion, was pretty much perfection. A lot of people try to find things to bitch about that game, but really, honestly, I thought the game was absolutely beautiful. Of course, the characters were amazing, the story was great, and really, the combat? You people complained about the controls? I thought Uncharted 3 was a great third in the series. I cannot wait to see where they're going to go with it some more in the future, and really, people, quit bitching about Uncharted. It's awesome. In the best handheld category, I went with Super Mario 3D Land again. I mean, again, that game is a lot of fun. It's definitely a classic Mario game for all the Mario fans out there. And somehow Nintendo just really does not get me tired of Mario yet. Although we keep getting these Mario platform games and they're always so, so good. It's a great game. Finally, the 3DS is getting some quality titles on it. With graphics, I went with Uncharted 3. Obviously, it's an easy choice. Uncharted 3's graphics were beautiful. I mean, their environments and their textures and their attention to detail, just so, so spot on, so gorgeous. Uncharted 3 is a beautiful, beautiful game, and that is why it is my winner for best graphics. Best music was another category that had a, a tie, and that was between Portal 2 and Bastion. But I think overall, I have to give it to Bastion. Bastion's music was so catchy and fun and cute. And it was just a beautiful, beautifully scored beautifully. I'm not sure. Yeah, that we'll, we'll say that's a word. It was beautifully scored. And it's one of the games where when I'm not playing it, I love listening to the soundtrack on its own. It's so pretty. And Portal 2, honorable mention, but Bastion definitely takes the award for best music. Best weapon, gotta give it to the Penetrator in <laughs> Saints Row 3. That big wiggly purple dildo bat, gotta love it. There's just so much gratification 
and running up to somebody and, and hitting them over the back of the head with a dildo. Love it. <laughs> Best download game is Bastion. We really have not had a game that I loved as much as Bastion on any kind of like XBLA or Steam or PSN. Bastion was graphically beautiful. It wasn't like photorealistic, but it was just the art style was really great. Probably my favorite thing was the narration. Loved it. I loved that aspect of it. It added like this, this storybook feeling to it. I love the controls, I love the different weapons, I love the story. There was just so much to love about Bastion. I hear it wasn't as good on the PC because um, of the controls, but I had it on 360 and I absolutely just adored that game. There was nothing to not love about Bastion. If you haven't played it yet, I, I definitely can't recommend this game more. It's so, so good. I think you'll love it. Biggest letdown this year to me was definitely Dragon Age 2. But it was almost like I knew I was going to be let down by the game. But Dragon Age 2, guys, what did you do to that game? Dragon Age Origins was so good. And then Dragon Age 2 just didn't even, couldn't even come close to being as good as Origins was. Such a huge letdown. It, was, it just felt like half of a game. And it didn't have the the emotional attachment to the NPC characters, I really could have cared less. It was almost like getting to know the NPC characters wasn't as important as it was in the first one. But on top of that, the game just felt, it just felt too, they developed it too quickly, they didn't spend as much time or effort into it, it just didn't feel like they really cared about Dragon Age 2 as much as they, as much heart as they put into Origins. So, Dragon Age 2 is definitely my biggest disappointment. Best voice actor definitely goes to Uncharted 3. Another one. Another win for Uncharted 3. Who knew? But really, the voice acting is in Uncharted 3 was spot on. As always, as we've come to expect from Uncharted games, I think my runner-up for that would definitely be Portal 2. Damn Wheatley. So cute. So adorable. And he broke my heart. More developers need to take note with how Naughty Dog works their voice actors, because they're definitely doing something right. Best title screen music goes to Skyrim. I'm sure a lot of you agree. I could sit there on that title screen and just listen to that music over and over again. The in-game music I felt wasn't as good. It just felt like generic RPG music, but the title screen music was awesome. And lastly, my game of the year goes to Uncharted 3. Again, how can I not pick Uncharted 3? When Uncharted did so many things perfectly, their environments, their graphics, their attention to detail, their voice acting, um, their characters, the character development, the controls, even though a lot of you bitched about the controls, the changes in environments, I mentioned the story. <laughs> There's just so many good things about Uncharted 3 that other games, although we had other great games that came out this year, I don't feel like any of them were as complete of a package, a complete of a package of awesome as Uncharted 3. And that's why I, I definitely just obviously have to give it to Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, Naughty Dog. You guys are like creating gold here. I love it. And that's my award show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I entertained. Probably pissed you off a little bit because I didn't give your favorite game an award or something like that. But um, yeah. What are some games that you would give awards to? What's your game of the year? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. And stick around for my top seven most anticipated games of 2012. As always, love you guys.